In this video, I'll be covering advanced design of monthly data entry forms when you're using the form, changing colors, getting it to look a little better than the default view. So I'm going to go to Data Manager, Data Entry Forms. I have a form called NPDES Review Form. I'm going to use my quick filter to find it. Go ahead and open that form up. So here I have a form. It shows me the parameters that are on my uh, DMR report, Influent and Effluent BOD, and TSS, and then my pH. So one thing is I want to add the flow variable in because that is on my uh, DMR report. I'm going to go ahead and insert a column, and I'm going to go to my Influent location and pick my Influent variable and bring it into the form. It's going to populate it there for me. Now I want to split up some of this stuff to make it look a little bit better and easier to read. What I can do is I can click here. And this button here will insert what we call a divider. It just allows you to break apart the form. So go ahead and put a divider in there. Now, if I think about how this form works, is my DMR report is output. My pH actually comes right after my BOD in my report. So I want to rearrange these columns. In order to do that, we can drag and drop. Right now we're in what's called select mode down here on the status bar. I'm going to go ahead and double click that. Notice it says it's in drag and drop mode. The headers all become individual. And now I can click and drag and put that right after my BOD. Now I may want to insert a divider here also to make it look a little better. Now, I can rearrange my header sizes by just dragging and drop the column headers. If I want to change what's shown in the headers, I'm going to go to Format and Options. So here it says this is what's displayed, the location, the variable, number, the name, and the units. I can add my store code into this and it'll put it at the end. If I want to move that up or down, I can do that. Right here, I can also change my header font. So I want to make it look a little darker. So I'm going to just make it uh, 9 and bold. Click OK. It also allows me to select what summary stats are shown at the bottom, what entry group I'm going to be in, what logbook I'm going to use, and when I hit the Enter key, does the cursor go down or across? In this case, I'll leave it at down. and I go ahead and click OK. Now there's my form with the bolder headings. I may need to make this row a little bit bigger. I can also rearrange any of these column widths by simply waiting till I get this bar, two parallel lines, and dragging it to make it wider. Some other things I may want to do is set the color of these. So maybe on Influent, what I want to do is go back into Select Mode click and highlight all three of my Influent BOD and right click and go to change header color. So in this case I'll say that should be brown because it's you know Influent and here I can highlight these three use the shortcut button instead of right click to set the header colors and my Effluent should be a nice clear blue. Once I've made all of these changes, maybe adding another divider bar to make that look a little bit better, changed all my column widths, and got the form the way I want it looking, what I can do is I go to File and Save Layout. That will save over the existing NPDES review form, or I can go to Save Layout As. So I'm going to go to Save Layout, and now if I exit, and go back in to use that form the next time. All of those changes are saved and I've got a nice looking form. Those are the advanced options of monthly data entry to allow you to get forms to be more personalized and to look a little better. Thank you very much.